bound inequalities. These ones can be fun. 3w plus 1 is less than 10 or negative 4w is less than negative 28. So first key is to actually solve the inequalities separately. So this one's minus 1 minus 1 to give me 3w less than 9 divide by 3 to yield w is less than 3. On the other hand, on the right we have negative 4w less than negative 28 so I'll divide by negative 4 and that's going to yield w bigger than, because I've got to switch the inequality, bigger than 7 and the connector word is or. Okay now to bring these together we're going to make number lines. So here's a number line w less than 3 would mean that we're going to go to the value of 3 which would be located somewhere, let's put it there and then less than is an open interval so open dot or I prefer the open parenthesis. On the second inequality we have w bigger than 7 so right below this one I'm going to make another number line I'm going to put the number 7 on it 7 is to the left of 3 so I'm going to make sure to put it over here and again this one is also open it's not equal to but this time it's heading to the right so it looks like this Okay, now that's not the answer to the problem when we do a compound inequality. The compound inequality is going to have a final answer that's going to be the combination of those two. So in this case, since it's the word or, this would indicate a union in set theory terms. So we need all of the numbers that are below 3, because those ones come from the top, the blue graph. And then we need all of the numbers that are larger than 7, because <clears throat> those ones come from the bottom graph. So final answer is this graph down below and in an interval notation we would say that it's from negative infinity to 3 union from 7 to infinity. So depending upon whether your class prefers graphical notation or interval notation. Okay, let's try another shot here. Um, you can pause the video and try this on your own, but I do have another example after this one, so you might want to follow along here. I'm using a different word this time, and, because that's going to be for an intersection. But let's try it. So add 3 to both sides of the equation, or the inequality, sorry. 2w less than 12. Divide by 2. w is less than 6. And for the other inequality, we have w is bigger than or equal to 2. But this time the connector word is an and. So as I start to come together, we have w less than 6. So go to the number line, put in a 6, and shade less than. Then we draw another number line below that. We put in the number 2, and we shade above that one. And this time it's a closed dot or a bracket. I prefer a bracket. And then the final answer is what we're going to get when we bring these two answers together. But this time, as an intersection, we want them to be in the overlapping section because it needs to satisfy the top and satisfy the bottom. So we have a 2 and a 6. And the 2 is facing that direction. The 6 is facing this direction. And so the final answer in an interval notation, if you prefer that, would be starting at 2, including 2, and ending at 6 and not quite including 6. So there's an interval and there is a graph. Okay, So why don't you try the last one on your own, pause the video and see if you can get an answer for this one and then assuming you paused it and tried it on your own, let's do it together. Subtract 1 from both sides, negative 3w is less than or equal to 6 divide by negative 3 and it looks like w is bigger than or equal to negative 2 and the other inequality is yielding, let's see, subtract 1 2w is less than negative 6 dividing by 2 and w is less than negative 3 and our connector word is the word and. Okay, so what do these look like on a number line? w bigger than or equal to negative 2 would mean I'd go to negative 2 and we would go to the 
right, so bigger than or equal to negative 2. And then for the other one, we have negative 3. Negative 3 would be just a little bit lower than that. And that one's supposed to be shaded to the left because it's less than negative 3. <gasps> Uh-oh. What's going to happen in the final answer here? Remember, the connector word is and, which means we need an overlap. But notice that the negative 2 is actually above the negative 3, and they're facing the wrong directions to have any overlap. So that just simply means that there's no solution to this system of inequalities. And so we would say no solution, or possibly use the symbol for the empty set.